Residential Sales Comparison and Income Approaches, page 126. Press the gold F prefix key and then clear prefix key. Let's turn this on. Going back to yesterday's lesson. So what we're doing is we're clearing the prefix keys, right? Occasionally a prefix key might be pressed in air during the course of a calculation, such as pressing the gold F prefix key instead of the blue G prefix key. A prefix key inadvertently pressed can be cleared without clearing everything else that has been keyed. Simply press the gold F prefix key and then the clear prefix key. Enter. Notice the word prefix is written in gold above the enter key. So let's see. Press the gold. Let me clear this shit off real quick. Press the gold F prefix key. There's a little F. And then the clear prefix key. The clear prefix key. Hmm. I'm wondering if it's this. Enter. Notice the word prefix is written in gold above the enter key. Yeah, there it is. Notice the word prefix is written in gold above the enter key. There it is right there. Changing the function of this key to clear prefix when a prefix key is pressed prior to pressing enter. Okay, I guess that's how you do it. Whatever. Uh, practice problems. Before beginning the practice problem, set the decimal points on your calculator to 8. Then key in 56.8278951. Um, how the hell did we do that? We just did that shit, remember? Changing the decimal setting before, during. Setting the decimal point. Uh, try this. Oh yeah, F should display in the display. Press the F prefix key and then the number. F. Eight, there we go. And then key in fifty six. Eight two seven. Eight nine five one fifty six point eight two seven eight nine five one. Number one, change the decimal points to five. What is displayed? See, I don't think you press this. I'm messing something up. I don't think you press that because this is supposed to be the clear button, but it's saying clear prefix. I wonder if it's just this and then this. It's got to be that. 
8951. 8951. Then let's try this one. F. Ah, so you don't have to clear it. Um, you can just redo it, I guess. So I pressed F five, and then it dropped everything after. Um, it kind of rounded it. It looks like. Fifty six. Point eight two seven nine zero eight two seven eight two seven nine zero two seven. It rounded this. Okay. Now change the decimal point to three. What is displayed? F three. So it only has three decimal points after it. Now it's eight two eight. So it rounded it rounded this one. Okay. Data storage registers. Okay, now we're getting into this. The HP twelve C has twenty storage registers. I think that's on a test too. So try to remember that. The first ten data storage registers are named. R, and then it has like a little O that's like not really next to it. It's like halfway below it. Through R with the little nine going through the, the bottom of it. I don't know how you pronounce that. The second set is named R period O with the little, little circ zero going through the, the line. Through R period with the nine going through the, the line that it sits on. The calculator storage slash recall function employs the use of the storage key, STO, and the recall key, RCL. These keys are located in the bottom row, close to the enter key. There they are, STO and RCL, right next to the bottom of the enter key. For example, to store numbers in the first set of registers, you need to press STO and zero or whatever storage register you wish. You got zero through nine. To store a number in the second set of registers, you need to press STO period zero or whatever storage register you wish, zero through nine. So it gives you 20 um, possibilities. You got zero, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then if you use that other way with the STO period and then your number, it gives you 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 options. The storage registers allow appraisers to store frequently used numbers. For instance, the square feet in an acre, the number of feet in a mile, so that the appraiser will not have to enter the numbers each time they are required in a calculation. We will limit our discussion here to the first 10 registers. The keystrokes for storing a number in a data storage register are, number one, number to be stored. Let's go, uh, well, we'll do that here in a second. Uh, whatever, clear. Let's go the number one, two, three. Then press STO. That was the second uh, thing you had to do. The third thing is number on keyboard for the register in which to be stored. Let's store that one in number seven. It'll say one, two, three point zero, zero, zero after you do that, right? Let's use the example of the land area contained in a township section, 640 acres. If you want to store this number in the first data storage registers, R with a little O through the line, the keystrokes are, we'll, oh, here, they got an example right here. That was the one I was using. 
Let's try this. Press 640. That's the number of acres in a township section. STO. And we'll put that in the zero register. When Once you press that, it'll have uh, the three zeros or whatever come out after it, letting you know that the data was inputted. Result, if the input has been entered correctly, 640.0000 should be entered. I mean, they have four registers on their ship or whatever. Mine had three. With more or less zeros after the decimal, depending on the current setting, should be displayed. Up here, it shows a diagram of the RCL recall key. It's right there, obviously, and the STO storage key, which is right there. Clearing data storage registers. To recall a previously stored number, the keystrokes are. Try this. CLX. The display should read all zeros. Instead, for instance, 0.00. .00. Again, this depends on your current setting. 0, 0.000. Recall. Press zero. 640.000. Recalls the stored number. Results. You should see that the number 640 is stored for future use. Let's store another frequently used number. To store the number of square feet in an acre, uh, 43,560 uh, in data storage register number one. The keystrokes are, try this, enter 43,560. Press STO. Then press the number one. We're gonna put it in the one register. After you press it, some zeros should pop up behind it. Results, the number 43,560 should be stored.